Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are back here once again in the world of my recycling center. It's been a while since we've been here, and I wanted to come back to this one just because in the past two weeks since we've been here, this game has had four content updates that have occurred um, that have added all kinds of new things to the game. They now have a station where you can drop off used clothes and shoes. They have a, a new shark compactor container, which is just a, it's a large, powerful compactor, perfectly suited for bulk trash, timber, and waste paper. They also have document destruction, so you can bring all of your documents in and have them chewed up by the document destruction, destruction machine, the document destructor. And they also have some new cars, they have a trailer, and they have compactors that will actually get completely crammed. Um, as they as you put stuff in them and then you have to empty them out which they kind of a little did that before but it didn't actually show up as being crammed so we're going to hop back in here to rusty champagne too and last time we were here because again it's been a while since we've been here so we had just originally or just initially set up our new location here where we could drop off um we where people could drop off the things or where we could take things out and put them into our buy and sell location. Uh, what, it's our second hand store. That's what I want. That's what I kept trying to say. So we got stuff now in our second hand store that's available. And now it'll be interesting to see exactly what's going to happen now with our new customers and what we can do. So now I just got to remember where all this stuff goes. I believe that this is all going to go into there. Oh, and I bought a hint. I didn't need it. I, I knew where that went. It's just. <laughs> getting used to the controls after all this time so we shall see uh, i will take a look at the very beginning here and see uh exactly what the new things are on the screen and what the requirements for them are so like the the new types of trash and uh, what it takes to get them so next person that comes in we're just going to let them kind of wait for a little bit make sure there's nothing in there there is nothing going to get you all on your way and thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. So we've got 186 satisfaction. Let's go in here to our computer. Because we have this fancy computer now. So if we go to management, so we now have household appliances, electric, electric devices. We had that before. Um, we've got scrap tires. We've got used clothes. We've got data disposal. So I might just go all the way down to data disposal because that's one of the new ones. And then after that, we might do used clothes. So we might do both of those and and then see what we can do but at the same time if we do data disposal what am i going to need in terms of machinery to handle that so if we go here and if we look what is the data disposal machine fifteen hundred dollars and it's going to be seven hundred for used clothes so we will work our way up to those amounts of money and hopefully at the same time we'll have people that come in and buy our stuff that's in our secondhand store and that will help us get things going even quicker so we're going to shoot for those we're going to shoot for the document shredder we're going to shoot for the used clothes container and we're going to see how we do with all that meanwhile this person's been waiting very very patiently at the front gate to come in and drop off some stuff and hopefully buy some stuff i don't know how we get anyone to buy some stuff but we will have to see how that goes because that's that is just sitting here so if we look at this, um, how do people come in and buy anything? Oh, we just want to drop that back there. So I'm, I'm guessing at some point people will come in here and walk in and buy stuff. That's all I can figure. So we got garbage bags. So that one is going to go there. We got to remember to charge them fees. And I believe that I can start throwing some of this stuff. So we're going to give this a little bit of a throw. There we go. Because I, I can throw a little bit. All right, let us charge you your fees for the garbage and get you on your way thank you very much so yeah we want to get up to i'd like to get up to the the 1500 so that way we could get the document chewer because i'm all about chewing up a good document wherever we have the opportunity to get it so we're going to shoot for that because we got plenty of satisfaction we got 188 satisfaction so we got all the satisfaction in the world we just need to get the money and hopefully at the same time, we'll see some of these people come in. Ooh, and they've got new horn sounds. That's kind of cool. I mean, that's the, that's one of those little things that it's it's not really... I don't even know if they have it as a feature in the game. Uh, this guy's table is coming out of his house. 
I'm going to, can I take this and put it right in here? Uh, it does not have any value and cannot be offered for sale. So I guess the answer is no. So we, we got to take this and just put it in there. Oh, I threw it on top. And then it fell in. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I did not expect that. And how you doing, sir? Uh, on your way. I, I wonder if we have to... I'll have to try something next time. I wonder if we have to put it in the container first. Now, okay, let's see. Now can I pull this out of here? Or is it now stuck in there? Nope, that is now part of the scenery. Cannot do anything with that. I was hoping that we could do something with that, and we cannot. So I, I wanted to see if we could pull that out and and immediately put it in the second-hand store because I'm struggling to remember how I put those things in the second-hand store to begin with. Because I, I feel like we pulled those out of the car and then put them up for sale, but I don't know. Or maybe it just can't go all the way in. We'll have to try this out. Um, all the experimenting that's going to be going on here. So you got a cardboard box. you got a faucet. That goes into scrap metal. And again... Can I, can I take this over here right now? Yes, I can. So we're going to set that. Yeah. So this is just going to go into this spot right there. And you're going to be on your way. Oh, you got some garbage. So we'll take your garbage. And we'll do that. So garbage there. And there you go. On your way. Charge you your fees. And get you checked out. And we sold an item. Okay. There we go. That's how that works. Perfect. Oh, you had a glass bottle in there. I didn't even see it. Those glass bottles are impossible to find. Absolutely impossible. Okay, so that's good. Now we know how the secondhand shop works. If people find things that they like, they will just kind of come in and they will buy them. And then they will put them in their car. And life is wonderful. And then we can keep, keep on taking things that have a nicer value and go ahead and sell them. Which makes me wonder, what was it about that table? that we could not sell. I, I, I Now I'm intrigued to know what happened at that table that it had no value to sell it. It also makes me wonder what has happened to our next customer because I don't know where they are. And I did see something there. Oh, there they are. They were stuck in the air. If you go back and look real closely, you'll see that there was like a, a, a yellow uh, a yellow shape that was over there that was kind of hovering in the air and then it fell down and started moving. So if you go back and rewind that, you'll notice that. It was kind of interesting. I wish I had a way of highlighting it myself. You've got a ton of stuff in here. A mounted animal. I'm guessing this has no money. It, oh, wow. You can sell a mounted animal for 40 bucks. Okay. Uh, people want a mounted bear head. Who would have known? Plastic buckets are not worth a darn thing, so those are just going to go in there. Oh, and again, those get thrown with the force of a thousand suns. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, this table, this should have some value. Uh, yeah, $40 in value. You can go there. And we're going to just keep on doing that. Got another table we can put in here. So, yeah, we're get, eventually going to get filled up on space. So we got, what, three more spaces to put things, I believe. Uh, garbage bag, so I can remember to charge this guy his fees. Make sure we get all the fee money, because we do love ourselves some fee money. And we got some recyclables. Uh, cardboard box is not worth a darn thing. So we're going to just take that, throw that right away. And then what else do you have? You've got uh, a nut. Man, all the plastic buckets. Just, <laughs> they're all there. And then that one is so brittle that it's smashed to bits. I don't know if I need two mounted animals. So where would this one go? Is this timber? <laughs> so so the, the animal's head itself is timber. I wasn't sure about that. And as it turns out, it's... It all goes in there because the mount itself is timber. That's good to know. Uh, another table. I've already got a couple of tables in there, so we'll throw this one away. And then we will go here. Oh, this clock. Yeah, this long case clock. We can certainly do something with that. $60. Yeah, somebody's going to want a clock. There we go. Yeah, somebody for sure is going to want a clock. And I've closed the door on myself, so <laughs> I can't get out of my own recycling thing. Uh, how do I get out of here? No, oh, I just walk right through it. That, that's out. Is everything out? Yes, it is. You are emptied out. I think I got some garbage from you. I did. And and you bought a... Uh, I don't know what that was you bought. It'd be funny if it was your own clock, but it does not appear as if it was. So, all right. So we're up to $560. We might get this money pretty quickly here. <clears throat> as I get a frog in my throat. All through this. Ugh. There we go. 
Early morning, <laughs> frog in the throat. Got to love it. So let us see. So we got 201 satisfaction. So really at this point, I'm really trying to get myself up to $2,200 because that will allow us to get both of the new things. And it would be kind of cool to be able to show both of them off. Get some document destruction going on and uh, get some, I think it was like the used shoes and stuff. Now, this armchair, this thing is beat up to all get out. Yeah, I didn't think this had any value because it looks completely beat up. I'm going to just throw that in there. And we're going to take this. Yeah, so you've got like all the really, really bad stuff. Let's start getting this chewed on. And so, yeah, there, there's this light that's on here that will tell you when this thing is starting to get full and when you need to empty it out. And now we got all the carpets that, again, I'm not going to even try to sell these because I don't want to know what happened on them because I'm sure that whatever it was, it was not good. So we're just going to take all these and immediately throw them out and hope that you buy something from our secondhand store because that would be mighty nice of you to do. All right, there you go. Everything is emptied out. Would you like something from our secondhand store? You would not. You just want to take your stuff and dump it. And you know what? That's okay. It's perfectly fine. That's okay. I cannot complain. So, yes, you will just take your stuff and you will be on your way. And we will hope that that stuff magically falls into the compactor. Oh, God, they got stuck on each other. That's what it is. Now they're in there. And now they'll get the big smoosh and everything will be fine. <clears throat> it is nice that those things are a little bit quieter now. Because those compactors felt like they were really, really loud. And I don't know if they actually made a change or if that's just in my mind. But it always felt like if you're, even if you're still a far away from, a far away away from the compactor, it was still kind of noisy. But it may be, I don't know. It, it could just be, it could all be in my head. <laughs> we shall see. That's cardboard box. So you're just going to go there. You're going to throw you in there. And was that all you had? With some garbage and a cardboard box, it looks like it. So we're going to get some fees from you and get you on your way. And so $726. So, yeah, we'll see if we can collect another 1500 over the course of this episode. Because, again, that would be nice. Now, if we take a look here in our timber container. Okay, so that's just kind of all sitting there. None of it really smashed. It just kind of all moved. So, yeah, this thing, I think that when it gets over, I, I forget what they said. So both of these have lights. And when, I think when it gets over like 75% full, the bottom light comes on. And or, or is it flashing because it's almost full? Because these both look like they might have stuff. So let's, let's smash this and let's see what happens there. And, and they say that it'll just start working slower and slower. As, you, uh, as it gets more and more full. So it becomes in your best interest to empty the things out because otherwise you're just going to have really, really slow-moving compactors, and you don't want that if you can avoid it. All right, what do you got in here? You got some recyclables. I'm waiting for someone to have a plastic bottle because the plastic... Oh, there it is. Should we throw the plastic container for just for fun? Let's do it. Oh, wow, they actually fixed that. The plastic containers actually throw properly now because those things always threw like crazy. Uh, they did all kinds of weird things when you threw them in the past, and now they actually throw properly, which is kind of kind of nice. But it's also kind of a shame because they were so much fun when you threw them in the past and went off in all kinds of weird random directions, and now that doesn't happen. So <clears throat> we will keep on taking care of all this. we got to make sure that we remember to collect all their fees for all their garbage because they have all the garbage. Uh, do you have something in here? Oh, everybody with their mounted animal heads. Uh, I do still have a mounted animal head in there, so we're just going to stay. We're, we're going to keep ourselves to one mounted animal head, and we're not going to throw that in waste paper. Oh, wow. Um, okay, that one went very far. Let's just try that. Oh, okay. Um, all right, apparently you cannot throw mounted animal heads. You need to just drop them. Um, all right, that's, we're just going to drop that in there. And, okay, all the empty glass bottles, which have, like, one pixel in which you can pick them up. So we're going to see if we can find the pixel on these bottles, because they are not easy. But they're worth good money, so we've got that at least. All right, there's a couple more in here. Yeah, there's a lot of money to be made in glass bottles, if you have the patience. I don't know what happened to that one. It, I think it disappeared. It just vaporized into the ground. 
And we've got what? One more over there? Yes. So we'll grab that one, and we'll try to set this in here gently. Gently! There we go. There it is. I think you are done. I did collect stuff from you, and we will get you taken care of. And you bought a table. How about that? Perfect. That's a big day. We got $1,000. Um, we put a glass bottle into the wrong container. Namely, it went into the earth, which is not the same as putting it into the, uh, the glass container. If it just goes into the earth to become one with the world again, then you're not going to get the satisfaction that you would if you recycled it, apparently. That's what I've learned today. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with, and we will just stick with that one. Meanwhile, we once again wait for our next customer to arrive very, very patiently. We're over $1,000 already, so look at us go. We are getting pretty close to having the document chewer. They will be here very soon. And we will look and see what this person has in their trunk. Uh, we've got another faucet. But we've already got a faucet in there. So I will just take this and I will just recycle this one. Because we've already got one in there. And we got all the other stuff. So we've got some recyclables. You've got a uh, plastic box. They are not worth any money. And it, <laughs> it just finally dinged. Uh, faucet, come on, get out of there. Don't you do this. Just get out of there. Nope, we're not going to be able to pick that up. That one is gone forever in the front seat of the car. So we're going to lose a little bit for that. Um, every once in a while you have stuff like that happen where it gets stuck and then you try and pick it up and it's gone and you can't pick it up from the back seat of the car because it's just it, it fell into the void of this person's back seat and it will never be seen again, not even by the customer. It's just gone. They'll, they'll go home and they won't even see it when they leave their car. It just does no longer exist. Uh, we've got another table. We're going to set that table. Whoops. I uh, actually put it in that spot. There we go. Because um, I don't think we have any more of that table anyway. All the mounted animal heads. All these people with all their mounted animals. It, and you've got two of them on top of it. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Uh, apparently, whatever this animal is, it looks like a bear. Apparently, there were like a million bears in this town, and you're just allowed to kill as many of them as you want and mount their heads. And then, I guess people, maybe the law changed, and everyone's like, oh, shoot, I need to recycle my animal heads um, because I'm going to get in trouble if I don't. I'd love to know the backstory on this because I'm sure there is one, and it's I'm sure it's also very intriguing. And once again, that bottle smashed into oblivion. I didn't touch anything. It's just that, that is a very, very sensitive container. Very, very sensitive. And I'm wondering if they have a different container for glass at some point. Because that one is so touchy. I don't know if I charged any. I don't. Did he have anything fees? No, I didn't think so. And he bought the faucet. And we put the glass bottle in the wrong container. Yeah, and then the faucet disappeared. So, so the funny thing is, is that he dropped off a faucet. It ended up in his back seat, and then he bought another faucet. So he's still got the old faucet, and now he's stuck. Um, sir, are you going to leave? You look like you're stuck, so I think we're going to have to hit delete and make you vaporize. So, away with you. Oh, that's what it was. Your faucet got stuck. Oh, that's why. Okay, so now we're going to take your faucet, and we're going to put it in here. Um... <laughs> that was hilarious. So the faucet being in his back seat made his vehicle get stuck. So he had to literally vaporize his vehicle, but it didn't vaporize the faucet. And then the faucet fell out, and we were able to put it back in the secondhand store. I love this place. It is wonderful. Okay, we got a paper bag. Going to put it here. We have the we have the most unique recycling center here. It's the recycling center called Recycling Center. Or no, I think I actually gave it a name, didn't I? I thought I'd... No, I haven't put up a sign for it yet. That's right. You can put up a sign. I have not done that. But you can put up a fancy sign to make it look like you have a fancy place. Which right now, we've just got a, a regular place. We have nothing fancy here. But we're working on it. I think that was all that's in there. I believe so. Let's have you on your way. There you go. Four paper bags. No waiting. $1,300. Okay, we won't have any issue with this. We'll be able to get to the... To the 2200 for sure because it was 1500 for one thing and 700 for the other 
And it was 1500 for the document chewer, and I think it was 700 for the... Um, what was the 700? I think that was for the used clothes. Yeah. So there we go. So we're going to be chewing up documents. We're going to be getting all kinds of used clothes. Um, we're going to really have it happen here. And maybe at some point we'll actually go ahead and spend money on a remote-controlled gate, but I just can't see us doing that because I don't think it's worth it. I just don't. Because uh, I could just walk up and hit the gate, and that's fine. I don't see how I'm gaining that much. That, that feels like if you're just really, really pressed for every little inch of time, then you would go ahead and get that. Um, there we go. I want to make sure it dinged. Everybody with the bottles, it's uh, been a busy day for glass here at the recycling center. And we're going to just drop that. Did it go in? It did. It just didn't break immediately like all the other ones do. I think you're empty. How you doing? And you bought a bear head. Thank you for buying a bear head. We appreciate it. Uh, that is very nice of you to give that bear head a new home. Just don't let anybody know that you have it because they've been dropping it off like crazy. So I am convinced that those things are now against the law. So just make sure you put it in a very inconspicuous place if you're going to hang it up in your home. That is my advice to you. Have a wonderful day with your new bear head, your new old bear head, as the case may be. So now we once again stand here and enjoy the lovely day. And here comes a truck. They've got all kinds of stuff. This might be enough to push us over $1,500. This might get us there. Although, looking back here, I don't know if I see anything all that valuable. So we'll see what we got. Man, how are you doing, sir? You are looking brawny. Okay, we're going to take this, put this in here. Oh, there's that stop button. I would say one of those on this one as well. Uh, there's that one, too. So maybe that stop button is the thing that's new. I don't know. I did <laughs> I did not look closely enough. Uh, imagine that. So we will, we will see as we get further along with these. All the garbage bags. And so we might got to make sure that we charge all the fees. Got some recyclables over there. More recyclables over here. And if this is the first time you're watching, you can always get a hint on where to put things by pressing the E key. And then that will cost you $10, but you will have a hint on where it needs to go. Basically, it will tell you where it needs to go. To say that it's a hint is a misnomer. It just tells you. It goes here. Um, this chair apparently cannot be sold because it has no value <laughs> to the world anymore other than being recycled. And this bag. Now, I believe that this just goes into bulk trash. Nope, it didn't. I, uh, maybe that goes into general waste now that I think about it again. Are you going to buy anything? No. Oh, and I forgot the fees. Oh, man. I always miss the fees. I always miss the fees. And we do have residential waste. There we go. Or no, we do have $1,500. And we meant to put that in residential waste. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're going to go here to open the shop. And we're going to go to management. And we're going to go down here. And we're going to go to data disposal. And we're going to unlock that trash type. And we're going to then go here. And we're going to go to the shop. And we're going to go down here. We're going to go to the document shredder. And we are going to do that. And then we're going to go here. And we're going to go to the document shredder. And we're going to put it way down at the end. And we can give it a fancy color. But not for $300. So we're going to leave that alone. Um, I'm not going to pay the $300 for that right now, especially since I only have 34 That is a big document container. That is a monster. Holy cow. Um, so now we'll see what it's like when people come in and actually start dropping off documents. And hopefully that will be sooner than later. But we shall see. And what do you have? Again, all the bottles. <laughs> Everybody doing all the drinking. So we're just going to drop that in there very gently and try and get those in there. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see what it's going to be like when people uh, bring in documents and what that's going to be like because that will just that will also unlock new trash types. And so then we'll see all kinds of new stuff that starts showing up in people's cars. And once we're done with all these bottles, I mean, the nice thing, like I said, the nice thing about these bottles is that they're good money. It's $30 a bottle, which is rather hilarious. But And that, that one I just smashed in there. I just uh, I didn't even try to do it, 
but that one just smashed completely in there. The hardest part about these things is they're so finicky, and they are very hard to find in the back seat unless you're really, really looking, or in the trunk. They're not easy to find. So now I think we need, I think it was 125 satisfaction to get the, uh, to get the, what am I trying to say? The used clothes. 125 satisfaction to get up to the used clothes. So that's going to be the other thing we need to do. So we got to successfully handle 33 more pieces of garbage in order to then, um, yeah, what am I trying to say? Words escape me. Uh, in order to then be able to get the uh, the used clothes uh, container. This is a folder. This is going to go right into the document disposal. Chew on this. Uh, drop it in there. There we go. And then we just uh, hit the button. Engage. Hey, look at that. That's fancy. And you've got a plastic cardboard box. So you're going to go there. And I think that's it. I... Now the question is going to be, what is in all these people's documents in these folders? Um, and you bought a table. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a fee. Oh, wow. There's all kinds of money to be made for data disposal. Oh. Okay. All the money. But like I said, I still want to know what's in people's documents. Ooh, don't put your hand down there, whatever you do. Uh, can we turn that off? Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. So that way you don't have to have that thing constantly running in the background. Okay, here we go. Here's our first big truck of the day. This ought to be good. Let's see what you got. Uh, I hope you've got all kinds of lovely stuff in here because I know we can use a little bit more stuff for our second-hand store now. So let's take a look and let's see what you got. What's going on all up in here? Uh, garbage bags. So remember, Rusty collect your fees let's actually walk back here right now and let's get that one emptied out because that one's going to be an issue so this is our what are you um you're the residential waste let's empty you out there you go you're empty so now i can throw a bunch of residential waste in there how you doing good to see you we will get you taken care of uh is this table worth anything uh uh, $100. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to put that down. Yeah, for sure we are. That's a lot of money to be had here. And all the garbage. We're going to get all the fees. Just remember, Rusty, actually collect the fees this time. Remember to hit the X button, and everything will be good. Don't forget the fees. Have I mentioned to not forget the fees? <laughs> We're going to get those taken care of. And get all this done. I do have that card over there. I've not found that card to be entirely useful. Um, and again, that's probably just because of me. And because I'm... Uh, I was waiting for that ding. And because I'm not the best game player. But yeah, I, I don't know if it made a whole lot of difference to me. But it looks good. So there's that. All the garbage. Man, you've got so much garbage in here been like saving this up for a month or something a keyboard stand does this have any value uh twenty dollars no um or can i take it out of here no oh yeah i don't want to do that so we're just going to scrap that into the scrap metal you go and last you've got this armchair oh yeah these armchairs you can't do anything with that's right we already tried that and we already discovered that nothing can be done with those so those are going to go in here i'm going to turn this on engage and it looks like there's something else still down there. Is that something? It's a folder. Okay. I'm glad I saw it. It was very, very faint down there, but that was it. So we're going to turn this on, get that chewed on, collect the fees. Lots of fees here. Don't miss out on the fees. $64 in fees. And you bought a faucet. What a day. Look at that. We're already up to $678. That was the best truck of the day right there. All the fees, all the money, all the resale. You just can't go wrong with all of it. It is wonderful. So, yeah, that we'll be able to start getting some used clothes and put those in the new container that we will get. And eventually, we do have to paint these things. We do have to get them painted, make them a nice color. Because th this shade of orange right now is just, it's just, eh. 
So we're going to see if we can get it, get that taken care of at some point here. Ooh, this guy looks like he's got a bunch of stuff. Let's see what you got in here. Let's make this happen. So right now, the only thing we need, we need the 16 satisfaction. So we're just short on the satisfaction right now. And then once we have that, then we can go from here. So this table, does it have any value? Uh, 40, uh, nah, well, let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. So we're going to take that, and of course that's going to just jam things up. Kitchen cabinet, do you have any value? No, cannot do anything with you. And you go into scrap metal, because you are made out of metal, not out of wood. Um, this giant bucket, that's a metal barrel. I think that that can be sold. Yes, because it's not flammable. It's not a gas container or anything like that. This cupboard should be good um, if we can get it in here. Oh, yeah, 80. Yeah, let's do that. Um, you're going to go there. There we go. Uh, it said 80. I'm sure it said 80, uh, but maybe I'll sell it for 60. That's fine. Uh, we got some files again. All these people with all their files. Now I'm very interested to know what everyone has in their files um, because a, a person just wants to know. A room divider, and that is 40. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put that in there, because I don't have any of these. So there we go. Everything is out of here, and I don't think we... Oh, yeah, we did have something with fees, because you did have a document to be shredded. And you are on your way. So, yeah, we need 10 more satisfaction, and then we can get into the used clothes business. And then we will have both of the new things, which is a nice thing, because that was what I was hoping to be able to show off in this one. So, yes, we will be able to do that very soon, because we have the money. The money we already have, that was uh, we needed $700 for the used clothes container, and we do have that now, because we have $818. So what does this gentleman have in his truck for us? This looks like it can be sold. A music stool? This looks like it's got some value. Uh, 30? Oh, sale value 10, scrap value 30. Oh, no. No, we don't want that. That just goes away. So you just go in there. Because um, we can scrap it for more than we can sell it. And then this cardboard box. Yeah, cardboard boxes aren't worth anything. So that goes away. And that's all you got. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and you bought the table. Nice. Awesome. Have, have a really wonderful day now. Went and bought our $100 table. We love that. That is perfect. Uh, how are these looking? This could probably use a little bit of a smash, so let's engage that. This one is looking okay. And it's not, no lights are coming on saying that we need to do anything with it. So we're just going to kind of hang out there. Let that keep, keep on doing its thing. Oh, Yet another beautiful day here in the Recycling Center with no name. So it's a Recycling Center called Recycling Center. Uh, we're going to walk up to the gate. You have a canoe. I have never seen anyone in here with a canoe before. That is definitely new. So let us pick this up. We're going to walk this right over here. Uh, can I even get it in the door? $200. Yes. Where can we put you? Uh, there? Oh, wow. It actually fit. That's amazing. And what is this? A uh, cupboard. This should have some value. Nope, it does not. So can't do anything with that. But we got a canoe. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, throw that in there. And then you've got a, uh, an exhaust. I can't imagine that's worth anything. So we're just going to throw that in there. Oh, where does that go? Um... I'm confused by that. We will find that out momentarily. Uh, $40, but scrap is 30 so we're just going to scrap that. So where would that go? And that did not fall into the container. There we go. Huh. That is very surprising. Where would that go? Uh, let's see. Uh, that goes in. Oh! You have to deny that? Huh. That's interesting. I'm guessing maybe because it had gas in it, and therefore it was maybe disposal, uh, maybe flammable. That's the first one of those that we dealt with, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that there would have been any issue with that. Or maybe he stole it off of somebody's car. 
Um, that's always a possibility. I love that canoe in there. <laughs> that canoe just looks so funny in there. But, hey, we got a canoe. That's a, that's a good thing because someone will definitely come by and buy that canoe, and we will make all the money. All right. This one should get us enough money to then be able to get into the used clothes business. I'm feeling pretty good about things. This person should have more than four things in here. He's just got a very interesting... Secret notes. I almost want to keep those and read them myself, but I can't do that. So the nice thing is that when you have that thing engaged, you don't have to drop anything in there. You just run up to it, and it will smash the stuff. So you don't have to, like, hit a button or anything to do that. Uh, you got... Oh, <laughs> this is so hilarious. All the confidential data that we are going to smash and get out of here for you. Uh, so much confidential data. I don't want to know what makes it confidential. That's that's the point. Man, there's a bunch of it in here. It just keeps going. And this is all the fees for all this, which is even better. So is this more confidential data? It is. How about that? So that's what we do. We do confidential data recycling. So we are glad to take care of you. And we have that ladder that we can't do much with, but we're going to drop it, try and pick it up again, get it out of here. There we go and put it into here or we're going to try and put it into here uh once more there it is that's what we want and charge all the fees and have you on your way thank you so much now we can go in once again and we can go here and we can once again go to management and we can go to management and we can go to the use clothes we're going to unlock that trash type. We're going to go to the shop. We're going to go down here to the used clothes container. And we're going to confirm that. We're going to go here. And we're going to put the used clothes container right there. And we are going to get that clicked. And there that is. So now the only other one that's, I mean, that's a little bit older, I think that we got the electric devices. And we got the scrap tires. I think that those were like a couple of the ones that were like in the, the couple of previous updates before that. So those might be things that we shoot for at another point in time. But right now I'm just interested to see what it looks like when people bring in some used clothes. And what that's going to be like. So it won't be in this one because this one did not, it, this guy did not have anything. He would not have had any clothes in there because he showed up before we got the used clothes container. So he would not have any clothes in here. But he does have a plastic box, which is worth some money. And he has some folders, which are worth some fees. So we'll get your fees taken care of, or get your folder taken care of. And he has a, a bottle of booze. So he was writing down his secret thoughts and, <laughs> and drinking at the same time. Charge you your fees, $10. Thank you very much. And check you out. Oh, and he bought the canoe. I knew someone would buy the canoe. It was just a matter of time. And you're on your way. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. So, yeah, now we have plenty of money. And we just don't have any of the satisfaction anymore. So, okay, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be silly. I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to go in here. Because a fool and their money are soon parted. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to spend the $700. And I'm going to get the remote-controlled entry gate. So let's go ahead and do that. So open the remote controlled gate so I can be like right here and do it. Oh, so I can literally stand here and do it. Okay. Maybe that's a little bit nicer. Maybe, I guess. Um, I mean, I saved myself a bunch of steps. Man, I love the color of this vehicle. This is, I don't even know what you'd call it, but whatever it is, it is styling. Um, let's get this crunched. See if we can get that going. And I might have to empty it out. But it's uh, it's because I don't think that thing moved from last time. Oh, now it's moving. There we go. Now it's in. Uh, this person has all the cardboard boxes. I'm going to probably have to get this start thing smashing pretty soon uh, because it's probably starting to fill up in the bottom. But so far, so good. We're still getting, still making uh, headway with it. And we're still dropping them all pretty much in the same place, and it's still working. So, all right. That all worked. How about that? And we will get you on your way. Thank you very much. 
for some reason, our office door did not close this time. There we go. Because I don't close that myself. It closes on its own when you walk through it. But this time, it did not do that. Or the last time, it did not do that. I still want to be able to go out to those office buildings and see what, is, what it's like in our big city here. Because it looks really nice, even though that building looks a lot like that one. I mean, that one and that one look pretty similar. Probably just the same architect. That's what I'm figuring. But there's so much of this town that we could check out if only we were allowed to leave our recycling center. But alas, we must stay here because we're the only person on guard and no one else can do that for us. So it is our lot in life to stay here in the recycling center while the world goes on around us. Taking care of all the cardboard boxes and all of the kitchen cabinets that are made out of metal and putting those in here and then it's going to fall out. We're going to put it back in. So I'm going to have to empty this out. It did ding on that one already. And then denying you your gas cylinders because we do not want that. So that's going to stay here. That's going to go back home with you. How dare you bring that here? What are you thinking, ma'am? You know we don't do this. I'm pretty sure I talked with you about this already. So away with you. And you bought a nice item at the same time. It's $358. So yeah, right now we're just waiting to see what it looks like when someone brings some clothes here uh, and get some things going in our used clothes basket. And yes, it is a little bit nicer having that gate. A little bit. Because now I can just kind of stand here. I don't have to run all the way there. I can literally just stand here. I am now at the peak of laziness. I can just stand here, wait for you to show up, and just do that. And yeah. How much lazier can I get, really? <laughs> it doesn't get much better than that. Okay, you've got all the folders, so we're going to get all the fees. So chomp on that. And then, oh yeah, all those lights just automatically go on. I don't think that thing ever gets full. At least not that I know of. Because I don't think there's anything on there that says empty it. I wonder if you do have to empty that. I don't know. We'll have to check that out sometime. Right now, all I know is that it's chewing things up very, very nicely. And that's all I need to know. Get all your fees. Are you going to buy something? You are. You're going to buy a table. Perfect. Look at us. We're back up to $500. And we got 21 satisfaction. Which means at some point I am going to have to start painting some of these things. But I have to go out and I have to look up my color codes. And I think that there's a way to, to clean these. But it's been forever since I tried it. And I don't even remember what you would have to do if you did it. I remember way back at the beginning in the tutorial... They told you something about this is how you clean them off. And I, I cannot remember for the life of me what it takes now to do that. I'll, I'll have to go back and look it up sometime, but it's not that important at all. Now, these are nice looking chairs. One of these we should be able to sell for decent money. They don't have any value, but these look so nice. Are they just all made out of particle board or is it? I, I don't understand. I would want these chairs. I mean, these would be nice. I mean, they'd need some cushioning, but aside from that, they're, they're not bad chairs. So, unfortunately, they're going to have to turn into scrap wood because there's just no other hope for them. And that, that's just kind of the way life goes. Uh, what a shame. I mean, we've we sold that canoe. All right, now we got to take this thing and get, get, get engaged. So we're going to listen for that ding. And when that dings, we'll know that we're good there. And, yeah, because that's, there it is. I was just waiting for that one to drop. And when it dropped, we were in good shape. And more cardboard boxes. <laughs> Throw them in there. There we go. That's what we want. Nothing else in here. And we'll get you taken care of. And on your way, $663. And 29 satisfaction. So, like I said, right now I'm just waiting for someone to show up that actually has some used clothes. Because I'd really like to see what the used clothes look like and what exactly it is that people drop off in their wardrobe because inquiring minds want to know and again i'm just gonna how far back can i stand can i stand all the way back here uh yeah wow i can stand anywhere and open that up i guess that's because i have a remote control that would make sense now wouldn't it yes it would all right you've got some more 
all the folders, all the people with their sensitive documents that we are chewing right up. Is that all you had? One thing in sensitive documents? I, I guess so. There you go. And you bought the room divider. We love it. Life is good. So we only have a couple things left in here. We have two clocks left in here. We really need some people to start bringing some stuff in that we can sell at our um, sell in our secondhand shop because that has been a real nice money maker. I'm not going to lie. We've done pretty good with that thing. But we just need someone to bring in some clothes. That's all we're asking. Who has clothes? And would you like them to be brought over here to the recycling center called Recycling Center? Uh, what do you have here? Nope, everyone's got files. No clothes, but man, people are looking to shred all their documents. All of the things that have been kept confidential for so long are now getting taken care of now that there's a document shredder in town. <laughs> They've been waiting for this day uh, for quite some time. That's all I can figure because we got so many things that are getting chewed up. That has been our most busy piece of equipment all day. <laughs> is that document shredder, man. And apparently, no one wants that giant clock in the corner. I don't know why. It's a nice-looking clock. It really does look nice. But apparently, nobody wants it. So we'll see. All right. I'm going to walk back even further. Let's see. Uh, well, let's see. Where can where can we get to and still be in sight of this? Um, how far back can we go? So we're all the way back here. I think I can see it from here. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to check that out. That's pretty good. Now, that, I think, it puts us automatically back in place right here. Yeah, it does. That is great. There we go. Finally, we got what we wanted. Got some Got some uh, used clothes. That's going to go in there. How do we do that? Do we have to open this? We have to engage the trap. Oh, okay. All right, so you put all this stuff in there, and then you hit F to engage it. I get it. All these things you learn. So, yeah, okay, so we're just going to drop drop all that in there, in that top spot. And then the question is, are there any fees for this? It almost feels like there should not be because people are just dropping off their clothes. But we'll see. Uh, I will see whether or not. I'm not going to try and charge them fees. I just want to see what happens. Okay, so now we engage the trap. F. And all the dings. Perfect. I'm not going to try and put clothes in the secondhand store. We're not going to do that. And check you out. No fees. Perfect. I didn't think there would be because it doesn't seem right to charge fees on people's used clothes. That doesn't feel like it's a way to go. Well, there we go. A good day has been had. We've got some used clothes. we got people shredding all of their sensitive information. We've got uh, all, things, all kinds of things that are going in and out of the secondhand store. We bought and sold a canoe. Um, we've got... A few new things that are kind of... Oh, there we go. Use the power washer to earn satisfaction. There we go. That's what we got to do. All right, let's give you a quick power wash. Let's kind of spruce you up a bit. Is it going to get rid of any of the uh, graffiti? Doesn't look like it, but it is making it look a little bit better. Uh, how much satisfaction is it going to give us? Let's we'll keep on going around and see what we get here. I do love this power washer. This is like a very, very basic power wash simulator. I don't know if we're really getting too much out of it, but we're, we're making it look a little bit nicer. Oh, I see. We do have the little dial down there at the bottom. The little gauge. So I'm just going to stand here and uh, keep, keep cleaning this. I want to get this thing all the way up to 100% clean and see what that's going to get us. Because, again, this is we're halfway in now. We're like two-thirds of the way in now. we got to take it home and see where we're going to get when it's all said and done. This thing was apparently super duper dirty. So we're going to get it all cleaned up. Uh, of course, it's going to take forever to get this last few parts. It's always those nooks and crannies that are the, that are the challenge. But we will get it all squared away. Watch, we're going to get like one satisfaction for this. And this is going to be <laughs> the, the most, this will be another three minutes of your life that you don't get back. But we, we've got to find out how much more do we have. we got like 10% more left to do. Is it maybe on the back side? Maybe we got to go to the back. Let's go to the back of this. How are we looking back here? Oh, there's lots of dirt back here. Oh, yeah. There we go. All the dirt's back here. And what's that going to get us? 
10 satisfaction. Okay, so that was not a complete waste of time. But it also, we probably could have used the time a little bit better than that. So there we go. Now we got a nice clean er recycle container. And it's been a very, very good day here at the recycling center called Recycling Center. Uh, sorry, we are going to have to send you home. So you've been vaporized. And we will see you next time. But that is going to be all for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered... I'm waiting for the horn. Oh, I was waiting for them to talk over me. I'd like it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again, thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.